Breast cancer is a disease predominantly of women. It does occur in men as well. Probably it has a relation to the amount of breast tissue. So women have a lot more breast tissue than men and thus more tissue is at risk for developing cancer. Usually women find it as a lump or it's discovered uh, on a mammogram and can, if ignored or not treated quickly uh, and appropriately, can spread to other parts of the body and uh, be fatal. We think we understand that a Western diet does place women at higher risk of breast cancer, whether it's high fats or lack of vitamin D or some other component we don't understand. Similarly, um, one of the other myths is that it's a disease uh, that only occurs in older women. Well, breast cancer is predominantly a disease of older women, but it does strike uh, younger premenopausal women as well. Mammograms uh, are a good test in older women, but they're not such a great test uh, in younger women. And the reason for that is mammograms detect uh, calcium in contrast to fat in the breast. So when you have uh, breasts that have a lot of fat in them, which is a normal process of aging, mammograms are a good test. But in younger women who don't have a lot of fat in their normal breast, mammograms can be very uh, difficult to interpret. The breast self-examination is a very good test and probably as good as mammography in younger women. There are other imaging techniques, including MRI and including ultrasound, but we aren't sure how, in the normal risk woman, how to apply these tests yet. But I think the message is that breast lumps, if they're discovered, uh, should not be ignored. Most breast lumps are not cancer, but the ones that are, when treated uh, appropriately and treated early, are a very curable uh, illness. Typically, they're core biopsies or small needles inserted into the mass that may uh, demonstrate cancer. So the way we cure breast cancer is to surgically remove all of them. Within the last 15 or 20 years, we've gone, in many cases, to what's called breast conserving surgery. Often we give either chemotherapy or hormone treatment with the intent of shrinking the tumor, and we can shrink the tumor to a small size and the surgeon can then uh, just remove the lump. So that's a way of breast conserving surgery. I think that we are on the verge of moving away from chemotherapy treatment just as 15 or 20 years ago we moved away from complete um, resection of the whole breast toward more therapies like hormone treatments and maybe some of these targeted therapies. We're close to making breast cancer a chronic disease rather than when I started my career it was a disease that uh, people got and often killed them right away. Now, for a lot of reasons, we've turned it into a chronic disease that requires ongoing treatment. But at some level, we always need to remind ourselves that this is a serious, potentially life-threatening illness that we need to pay attention to and to deliver the appropriate treatment, not over-treat and certainly not under-treat, but it remind ourselves that this is a serious uh, illness um, and, uh, and we need to pay attention to it.